Hey everybody, welcome back to a, another Sunday special. I've been getting a lot of positive comments from you guys about these sessions, so I will be continuing them. Every Sunday, I basically go through the charts and I look at some of the top setups uh, that I personally see in the markets. I do a little bit of my own analysis and I share it for you guys to comment on and, and share your opinions with. So please feel free to chime in in the comments what you think is gonna happen this week. And without further ado, let's go ahead and get into today's video. Um, now, <clears throat> we've had some interesting moves this week. We've seen gold pull back, and I'm going to show you guys a couple different things today. So buckle up. This is going to be kind of an interesting uh, little Sunday special, if you will. So I actually just got done doing this. Now, this is a tool uh, or a conglomerate of tools, if you will, uh, that I just put up on our website, a1trading.com. Now, if you go to the website, you might have to do it in browser, but if you go to software and then go down to A1 Trading Dashboard, this is completely free, and this is just a bunch of tools that I personally use when doing my analysis, and I've gone ahead and made it public for you guys. So please take advantage of that, or you can copy the URL if you're on your phone or something, but it works much better on the desktop. Um, so anyways, I wanted to talk about gold today because gold has been a very, very interesting pair to look at. Now, if we actually take a look here, you can actually see that gold right now, XAU USD is 70% long according to Retail Outlook and 30% short. So you've got a lot of people who are buying this dip here on gold right now. Now, from first glance, I would say that that is not a bad idea at all because I personally love the idea of buying into this strong uptrend and looking for the continuation of gold going into the rest of 2020 and 2021. But I'm gonna say hold up, hold the horses for just a moment here. We see that a lot of retail is getting long, so I don't wanna just be another one of the, the herd, if you will. Not to say that if you're long gold that it's a completely stupid idea, but it's more so that I'm gonna look for some sort of sign that retail is no longer super interested in being long. And what usually happens for that uh, to be the case is either sellers uh, dominate this thing until it gets sold off completely, or buyers get tired of uh, of holding on to long positions that are losing and they end up getting stopped out, something of that sort. Well, for me, I'm gonna look for some sort of confirmation to hold this 200 period moving average. And this is the big, uh, the key piece of analysis that I wanna go through today is this 200 period moving average is a long-term area of value, but check this out. Last time we tagged it, we didn't immediately come back up. I mean, it was pretty quick, but you can see price came down to the 200 period moving average. We tagged through it, we oscillated a little bit, and then we shot through. Now, the thing is, if you were to jump in here, you still caught a, a vast majority of the move. You may not have caught the absolute bottom, but you waited for some sort of sign that the market did want to continue bullish. So that's, to me, what I'm kind of looking for here on gold. And of course, if I take any positions on gold, uh, I will actually be sharing them with members inside of the A1 trading community. In fact, I did also want to say, I know I got to put my salesman cap back on, uh, but we do have our Black Friday sale ending uh, November 30th. So it is ending in the next, I think, 20 to 24 to 48 hours. So don't miss that out uh, or don't miss out on that because this is something we don't do very often. We don't do big sales like this. This is 40% off uh, everything that we have inside of the community. You know, you get to see all of the trades that I share as well as our other analysts. Uh, we have, uh, I think there's five of us currently. Uh, our live 24 seven trading chat room, basically you get access to all the different communities and, and chat rooms that we have, people collaborating and discussing. A lot of people that like my channel meet, end up meeting in there, which is kind of cool. So um, always kind of cool to see the, the friendships, if you will, that form among traders inside. And then we also have live webinars, which are on hold right now, but they will be back soon enough. Um, Joe is going through something who usually uh, is our coach who does all the, the live webinars. Uh, and then finally, we have all of the different software tools. Now, you do get some free stuff, like I said, this, this uh, dashboard, but we've built a bunch of different uh, paid kind of tools that we've hired developers on and, and done a lot of research and development on. So if you want those, you get all of them all for the one-time price. So check that out. Again, take my salesman cap off, but it is just something I have to make aware since we don't do them very often. Okay, so back to gold. I think, like I said, waiting for some sort of confirmation to see if we can get off of that 200 period moving average. And from there, it's to me, it's, it's bull central. So to me, it's like, okay, if we can hold that level, I'm ready for the next run. We'll see if it happens. It could be too, too soon to call. Um, and the other thing, the final thing I'm gonna say about gold is that what if we don't see that? Well, I'm not gonna be biased here. Although I would love to be long on gold and see it run for another run, uh, that may not happen. And we could actually see price break lower. So in that case, what do I do? Well, 
pretty much the same analysis. I look and I say, okay, well, a lot of retail is long right now. They're gonna, they're not gonna give up on their long positions and that's a dangerous game to play. So what can we look for? Well, if we start to see breaks beneath key structural zones, I would say if we get down to like 1600, we broke a pretty key level of support. Notice that we ranged in this area here for months where buyers and sellers basically just kind of played it back and forth. If we were to break through that level, that shows a pretty decisive shift in the direction of gold. And in that case, I would reevaluate, but that's probably not this week. I mean, I guess it could be, it depends how aggressive gold is. But if we see another move like we saw, we very well could get underneath that 1700 number, which is a really big deal for gold. So uh, that's something that I will also be watching. So watching either direction, really. If we see some sort of confirmation here, I'm looking to get long and trying to go for the continuation of this trend. And if this trend really does end, I'm gonna be looking for a break underneath here to look to get short on the continuation. So that is my personal analysis there on gold for this upcoming week. Let's talk about uh, Euro USD, <clears throat> which really interesting here, uh, really looks like it wants to break this channel that we've talked about for, at this point, months. Uh, we've talked about this, we've kept an eye on the Euro USD topping here around that 1.2 level. Well, if we break this, I think the rest of 2020 could be bullish for Euro USD. Uh, so that is something that I will be looking for this week, especially could be the week that I finally get long on Euro USD, looking for that continuation. If you remember, I've been playing the range. I ended up getting stopped out here on a short trade, uh, and that's okay because now my bias is looking, okay, hey, can I get into this long position and maybe catch the next run here? Uh, long term, we are up trending on Euro USD pretty strongly. We've changed directions from this long term downtrend that we were seeing. Uh, and so to me, the next leg higher is something to look out for. So if we see the break above this key zone this week, I will probably be looking to get long uh, with stops in a reasonable area. And what I mean by that, let me just give a theoretical idea here. Um, again, if I actually end up taking a trade, I will share it with members. You guys will see the full thing. Uh, so let's say, let's say I roughly get in here, okay? So let's say I wanna see some sort of breakout, right? I wanna see some sort of break clear above this level here. So if we were to see in going into this week that we see a pop above and then we see some sort of pullback, to me that is buy zone, right? That's that's buy time is when we see some sort of break, some sort of retest, looking to continue that upward explosion and hopefully get something out of it. Now my stop would probably be somewhere in the middle of this range because if we enter back into this choppiness, I just don't want to be buying this thing because again, we've seen we've seen what happens to Euro USD for this long extended period of time where we just go back and forth. I don't want to hold on to a long position in that situation. Uh, I would like to see the break and see the continuation. If it does, it does. If it doesn't, we're out of the trade. So that's how I personally plan to play EURUSD if it does decide to do something like that this week, uh, and I will be watching out for that. Let's also take a look at pound dollar, one uh, kind of EURUSD's cousin. You can see also uh, making a move to the high side, but still rejecting this area here at the 1.34, let's say. Um, you know, this previous top seemingly holding for your pound dollar for the time being, but a similar story. We have this uptrend Trend. We are above the 200 period moving average. We see some strength there. And if price decides to break above, I will be looking for longs on the pound dollar as well. So that will be something that I'm looking out for. Those two are pretty similar, pound dollar and euro dollar. Let's see also what AUD USD is doing. Very similar story as well. Pretty much the same concept, trending up above that 200 period moving average, consolidation zone, and now looking like we may break above. In fact, I like this trade almost as much as I like Euro dollar. Just looking for the continuation on this risk on currency, AUD, USD. And what I mean by that, for those of you guys who are not aware of what risk on or risk off means, risk on is basically currencies or asset classes really that are more risky. And they usually uh, do well in good times and poorly in bad times. So when the world is scared, people sell off things like the Australian dollar historically or the last 10 years or so. Um, in, in retrospect, we also have uh, the U.S. dollar, which is kind of a safe haven. So people usually put their money in something like the USD uh, when the market gets scared. Okay, so that means that if things are good, if things are looking bullish for the rest of 2020 and going into 2021, we could see AUD USD continue to make its move here. We have seen a large, large downtrend here on AUD USD, and it 
very well could be the next uh, leg higher just to continue this rebound that we have seen off of the lows. Okay, so that's what I've got for you guys this week. Thank you so much for watching. Again, don't miss our Black Friday sale. It's in the description. You can get all the, uh, the access to all of our stuff here for a super discounted price. There is a promo code down below. So if you click the link, use the promo code and you will get 40% off uh, of the membership for a limited time. So don't miss that. Thanks guys so much for watching and we will see you back in the next video.